South Carolina is the site of the 2020 SEC Women's Basketball Tournament. Next up, the fifth seed, Arkansas Razorbacks, taking on the four seed, Texas A&M Aggies. The Aggies are in the Washington. Jones with the steal, Will the other way, and it's a great start for the Aggies. For the team fouls on Arkansas, Wilson uh, just playing with a ton of confidence left foot, right to the best, but not a good sign as Carter pulls the trigger and knocks down her first field goal. Well, you hope that Texas A&M at this point in time, anytime you have one of your teammates goes down, you want to play for them, and Sierra Jackson, you know how bad she wants to be out here. How bad she wants to perform. Corfrey on the bench right now. Williams on the inside. So that is not going to be the out. She's got a little bit more weight on than she does. Carter. Danny Hanks is Corfrey. She was 0 for 5 from the field. 0 for 3 from the three-point line. Carter. Can't miss right now. Not to get out. Two for what to do. All them knocks down the three. So they're trying to figure out how to get in their flow. Not much flow right now. Not much movement. Ramirez will try it at two. She did not back to the rebound. That was your excuse all the time. Good move by Michaela Daniels right there. Well, I think the thing we look at though with the Carson Tucker team is it doesn't matter how many shots they miss. And Sierra Williams continues. Well, the tournament, you probably take it right now. Uh, Texas and his strong Texas, uh, yeah, strong Texas A&M team. Counts and that for Wells and the foul. And and the shot that. clock. And has made it tough for Arkansas to do so. Daniel gets another three. And you find those wide open players. And when you're playing in that zone, sometimes it's hard because you start collapsing on the ball and you leave different players open. And Daniel is able to get that. Oh, that's going to be a costly foul yeah, right there. Sierra Wood rebounding team, Arkansas. They usually have four guards on the floor for starters, but they're minus four in rebounding guards. They have dictated it from the start. Their defense has been outstanding. Bob Starkey, who coordinates the defense for the Aggies, threw up a great plan. Barnum comes off the bench. Five. Down to three, off the mark. Jasmine Williams with the rebound, and that will do it for the first half. Arkansas after Very scoring that the whole team tonight is locked in. That was winning with style, brought to you by Belt. Carter leading the way for AM. Chelsea Dungy finds the bottom of that six with the score at halftime. That perhaps AM missed an opportunity to have even more separation on Arkansas than they did. I would have to agree with you, Eric, and the big thing is you know how well this team scores the ball right off the bat. Alexis just told you, first person in the gym during timeout, getting her shots up, her first shot goes in, Chelsea Dungy. That's a six point run. They're a 6 0 with a minute into the game. There's Carter accelerating for two. to try to get that tempo back where they want now. Goal free. Good dish to Williams. Shot clock down at seven. Dungey looks for the Williams screen. Dungey for three. Got it. Gary Blair would have moved up, but if it involves Kennedy Carter driving the lane, it's usually going to work out pretty well. Seen Arkansas score this year. Take care of the basketball. Best team in the conference with fewest turnovers a game at 11. There's Colfrey. Carter defended by Colfrey. She's locked in here for Texas A&M, and that's got to be the big fear for teams in this tournament, teams in the NCAA tournament. And she is on. Trying to force it into Wilson at the turnover for AM. That's their 11th. Daniel showing some speed. 
And nobody picks her up in the front court. Daniel She's the only up. Arkansas player in double figures with 13 as well answers back. Well, Trophy getting caught up talking to the referees. She's got to get her head in the game, not be worried about where the refs are and what's going on. Goal three, tough shot, <laughs> and it drops in. Well, for all the ones that didn't... Daniels knocks it away, Ramirez, backhanded save to Dumbia in the lane. That save was a great save, but I'm a little concerned. I'm like, man, what happens if that's right underneath the basket? Well, Ramirez from deep finally finds the range. for Wells again. Washington will try a three and connect. Could be a tough pass and a turnover for Arkansas. Jones for two. So Arkansas is going to come back. Carter accelerates but can't score and batted into the hands of Arkansas's dungeon. And that's what it is. One possession at a time. You ask, what will it take to get back in this game? It'll take that. It'll take a defensive possession to win. And it is a different mentality. Daniel picks up her fourth personal foul. She stays out there. Wilson spins and throws it up. I think Daniel can shoot the three. You got Williams, who's been really effective down low. Ironically, he looked for the two. What you least the expect. Of the time it's really depending on if Texas A&M scores. They set it up for Carter to try to get free. She throws it to Wilson, and it's out of bounds. Arkansas was ready for it on deep. Ramirez will try a three. No, Williams, the putback. No, Williams still fighting his foul with 8.6 to go. For three today. Uh, Williams will have 68% for the season. Tie game. And you see both teams lined up on the free throw line. Clutch. First lead for Arkansas. Kiara Williams with two free throws in right and But they get it to Jones. Back to Wilson. Into the hands of Carter with five. With four. With three. Comes up short. Batted towards the corner. Wilson throws it up. And that does it. Arkansas wins it. And it's on to the semifinals. Unbelievable.